we bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of a servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. The troubles in the world can never grow less. They will continue to increase. Natural disasters will continue to grow. Go up and up. People will not die less in this world. My Bible did not tell me that. Wars shall not cease in this world. They will continue to grow higher until the Son of Man will appear. But the Bible says, in the world you shall have tribulation, but in me you shall have peace. Be of good share. I have done what? I have overcome the world. Our Lord, we thank you for this great privilege you have given to us. We pray that your power will come down. We are more than conquerors. Through you that love us, we will conquer anything we need to conquer. Any battle we engage ourselves, we will come out victorious. Our enemies shall not put us under the earth's feet. But in every situation we find ourselves, we will continue to soar higher. Like the ego, your children will continue to renew their strength. Even when we pass through the waters, it shall by no means swallow us. The fire shall not consume us. Because you are the fourth man in the fire. One with God is majority. The troubles in the world are increasing every day. The troubles in the world are threatening. They are growing higher every day. But you have told us that in you we have peace. Teach us how to experience this peace. So that we can conquer our battles. In Jesus name we pray. Shout hallelujah. Be seated. Turn your Bibles to Romans chapter 8. Romans 8. 37. Is our test. Romans 8, 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than, more than what? More than conquerors. Through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Praise the Lord. Look at verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations? I want to hear your answer. Shall tribulations, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or perils, or salt? In all these things, we are more than what? We are more than conquerors. May the Lord make you a conqueror in the name of Jesus. Quickly, I want us to also open our Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Verse 8. 2 Corinthians 4 8. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, not forsaken. Cast down, not destroyed. Say, I am indestructible. I was watching a small video clip today, just this afternoon. A young man was preaching. I think that place should be London. And as he was preaching, a lady came up to him and asked him to stop talking about, uh, talking against uh, homosexuals. That he's causing users. The lady called the policeman. They were videoing the guy alive. As we were preaching, he was preaching, they were capturing it live. Two policemen came and they tried to stop him. 
But when I saw the boldness of this young man, he asked them, is this Bible an exhibit? Is it a banned book? They said, no, it's not an exhibit. Do I have right to practice my religion and read from it? He said, yes. Do I have right to confess my faith in Jesus Christ? They said, yes. And the young man said, even the Queen of England, whenever they want to ascend to the throne, they swear by this Bible. And while he was preaching, when they saw his boldness, they left him alone. And while he was preaching, this young man said, Today, if you are a Christian, the whole world will be against you. Instead of fighting evil to us, it is you who profess your faith that they will fight. And I remember what happened in the Bible. People met Jesus. A young man met Jesus. I said, Jesus, um, I admire your ministry. I would like to follow you. And Jesus looked at the young man and said, ah, young man, forces have hosts. The birds of the air, they have nests. When it is evening, they have somewhere to raise their head. But as you see me here now, I have nowhere, the son of man has nowhere to lay down his head. Another one met him and said, Jesus, I want to follow you. I like your ministry. But let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus looked at him and said, well, as a matter of fact, burial is good. But in this case, let the dead do what? Bury their own dead. Jesus also said, anyone who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is not what? Is not fit for the kingdom of God. We may not understand today's topic, or rather I may not understand what Christianity really is. If we don't see Christianity from the angle of the military, we have been enlisted as the soldiers of Jesus Christ to fight. If you read the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and chapter 3, in the letter to the several churches in Asia Minor, Jesus will always say, to him that overcomes, to him that overcomes, will I give. To him that overcomes. And when I see this, to him that overcomes, to him that overcomes, I ask myself another question. If Christianity is not a battle, why do we need to overcome? If Christianity is, becomes Osusu, where you come and then you see it, you lost your mother or your grandfather, you bring invitation. And they don't do for you, come to for me too. If Christianity is all about that. Let's forget about it. Jesus, uh, let's open our Bibles to John chapter 16, the last verse. John 16. And let's see what Jesus said. Okay, let me take it from verse 31. Jesus answered them, Do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, ye is now come, that ye shall be scattered every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet, I am not what? I'm not alone, because the Father is with me. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have, you might have what? Have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good share, I have overcome the world. Jesus is never a pretender about the calling. He never pretends. He's not like some of us who go to a crusade. And then we tell people, the moment you receive Jesus Christ into your life, everything will become okay. If you don't have a car, just trust God, you get a car. If you don't have any trouble, before... Don't worry, your peace is going to increase. And we give people some kind of sugar-coated hope in Christ. But Jesus Christ, when the disciples confessed him as the one that came from the Father, he said, yes, you have just confessed me as a son of God. But may I tell you one truth, that the time is coming and the time is even now that every man that confessed me now is going to run away from me. 
and they will leave me alone. But I am not alone because a father will always be with me. And I tell you that these things I speak to you now, that in this world you shall have tribulations, enough of them. But he quickly added the good news, that listen, be of good share, because I have done what? I have overcome the world. And that is our hope. Imagine a situation whereby when the tempter came to Jesus and pretended to be helping Jesus. If you look at the three temptations Satan gave to Jesus, they look like help. The first one, he knew that Jesus had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And he came, ah, brother, you have, you have tried to, for 40 days and 40 nights, we were in heaven together, I know you, you have power. You don't need to stress yourself. You don't, the community is far from here. Just speak a word. You are the word of God. Speak a word and this stone will become bread. Just take it and that will satisfy you. If Jesus had succumbed to this temptation, he wouldn't have overcome. If we must be conquerors in the kingdom of God, there are things that we must do as Christians, as believers. It's high time we sit and tell ourselves the truth. Some years ago, over 10 years, one day I had to sit and think. And I asked myself one question. Is there anybody in my family that, for instance, something happens, and they say we need 100,000 naira now because of Hosanna. Can anybody stand up and bring the money? I said no. I took a photograph on a motorcycle. I told the cameraman, as, I, as I'm riding towards you, just snap me. This picture is very important. So he snapped me. I said, I have the picture. It's very useful to me. I wrote the date. And I wrote it on so, so day. I realized what life is, and I have decided to live like a man. You see, my album. In fact, I have scanned the picture. So that nothing will happen to it because it was a day I had to look at life and I saw the rigorous part of life. And I said, no, if life is difficult, I should not deceive myself. We should stop deceiving ourselves. If you have enlisted yourself as a soldier of Jesus Christ, then you stand up and defend your faith. It is not everybody that dies in the war front that is a conqueror. It's not everybody that dies in the battle that is a hero. When you examine the dead bodies, you will discover that some receive the bullets, the gunshots, face to face. Some receive the cuts, the arrows from their fault. Why some receive them from their back, from behind? The ones who received them face to face we are those who never gave up. Those are the heroes. But the ones who received them, who were running away, who were running, and the enemy saw them as cowards and decided to dash them a bullet, those ones are never heroes. Jesus did not tell us that we are going to face the good things in the world without any trouble. There's a woman I conducted deliverance for some years ago. And I told him, you are going to the church. I will not deceive you. You are going to meet with problems. People are going to persecute you. But you have to look up to Jesus, the author, and who? And the finisher of your faith. If you look at what people you met in church are doing, you will be discouraged, but always focus on Jesus. Know that you have a place that you are going to. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Our God says, when you pass through the fire, I will be with you. It means there are times he allows you to pass through the fire. There are times too, when God sees the waters coming. He will not come and command the rivers to split open so that you walk on dry ground. There are times he will sit and, become, and, and start washing you 
what you will do. Do you remember Stephen? When they were killing Stephen, Jesus was away. And the eyes of Stephen was, the, the eyes were open and Stephen saw the Son of Man standing, not sitting, standing at the right hand of God. What was Jesus doing? He said, my son, don't give up. You have to conquer this battle. You don't need to denounce me. Don't give up. I am standing to receive you. And Stephen, because he was seeing something that the people were not seeing, his spirit had been transported from this world. He started praying for his enemies. Say, may God forgive you. You don't know what you are doing. Father, forgive these ones. But as for me, I have overcome. May you overcome in Jesus' name. Yeah. Troubles are never out to destroy us. God does not allow troubles to come to break us into pieces and grind us into powder. No, it's not the plan of God. Let me ask us a small question, very little question. Who brought the troubles Job faced to him? Was it God or Satan? Who? Okay, let's look at the conversation. Satan, where are you going to? Say, God, you know, since you drove me from heaven, I have no home. I just moved to and fro. Say, hey, hey. Say, okay. Now that you are moving up and down, have you even considered my servant Job? That there is no one like him. That he fears me. And says, I said, what? You, Job is on his own. Oh. You are introducing Job to me. It's my job. As a matter of fact, I am moving up and down. To and fro, I have no work. I have no home. Okay, now God. It is because you build a hedge around him. You have placed angels before him. So that by no means he will strike his feet against any stone. You are bearing him with your angels, according to Psalm 34. If you remove these things, you will see what will happen. And God said, Satan, I permit you. You can go touch his properties. I want to ask you again. Who caused the trouble for Job? Who introduced Job into the wrestling? Satan was on his own. But... We don't know sometimes that evil Satan has access to God. Sometimes when we are sleeping on our beds. Because Satan has boasted that all men must be liars. It is his job to disgrace the children of God. He is the accuser of the brethren. So when the issue of Job was brought on the table for discussion. Job was innocent, maybe sleeping or on the farm or enjoying himself. He never knew that trouble was coming. After Satan tried, nothing happened. And then another meeting was summoned. Satan, I no tell you, say this is my servant. No go for. And Job said, Satan said, if I touch his flesh, he will renounce you. Because a man will give everything he has just to save his life. And God said, go and touch his flesh, but don't touch his life. You have no permission. And he went again. Before God brought that discussion, God had summoned a challenge. And he saw that he could use the life of Job to disgrace Satan. That all men are not liars. That it doesn't matter what the devil do. There are still conquerors in this world. How many of us want to stand in this time to be conquerors in our time? How many of us? How many of us? Is there anybody who has gone to primary school here? Just wave your hand. Let me see. You have gone to primary school, secondary school, university, and there is no test at all. The teacher just teach you and leaves. The following year, you move to another class. No examination, no test. Is it possible? In fact, 
When you open your master's book, or sometimes you go to class, the teacher will say, solve this problem. Instead of calling it equation, he says, solve this problem. So your parents are sending you to school so that your teachers will give you problems to solve. Now go and withdraw your children. That me, I no go suffer. I no go bear for bread. You no go suffer. You don't want to solve problems. You will not be that engineer. If you must become that engineer, you must voluntarily on your own go to your class and ask the teacher to give you problems to solve. And some, we run faster than the teachers. The Bible says, I am wiser than my teachers. In the night, they will walk ahead of the teacher. And when the teacher is cracking his brain and having some challenges, with style, they will say, teacher, I think if you do this like this and like this, you will get the answer. Open your Bibles to James chapter 1 verse 2. James 1, 2. May God deliver the type of Christianity of today. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. If you go to church and your pastor welcomes you, welcome brother John. For all the troubles that the devil has arranged for you, both the ones you have passed through, the ones you are passing through now, and the ones God is going to allow, I want to congratulate you. Be happy for all these troubles. From that moment, you begin to suspect your pastor. Whether he is a part of the problem, whether a transaction has been done between your pastor and your enemy to discourage you in life. But this is scripture. He said, count it all joy when you fall into troubles. He said, do what? Count it all joy. You should be happy. And the apostles, after beating them very well, they left and they were happy that they have been counted among those qualified to suffer for Jesus. I tell us, if Boko Haram cross into this worry and bracket any church, if you are for Allah, stay here. If you are for Jesus, come here. And then your pastor is already for Jesus. I tell you, members we need and I tell them, I beg, Vicar, we understand these people that they are mad. Can, we still need you around. We don't want you to die. You see us and nobody has followed you. These people, they don't play, oh, I beg, come and join us. When they go, we'll confess our sins. Even the members will be the one to discourage you. Because our view of Christianity is very much different. It is very, very different. We don't want to write exam, but we want to pass. Nobody wants to pass through any test, but we want to pass. How if we fail to fight? How will God welcome us? That welcome good and faithful servant, soldier of Jesus Christ. You have fought and you have succeeded. There is a novel we read some years ago. It's a play. I can't remember the title anyway. A mercenary. They hire the soldier to go and fight war. But whenever he's going for war, he will carry a lot of chocolates. Instead of carrying bullets, he will carry chocolate, 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 chocolate. So when people are fighting and firing the enemies, when you think he has enough bullets, it's chocolate that is inside. May you not be a chocolate Christian. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Butter and tea Christians will not survive the times we are entering now. Look at verse 3. Why do we need to count it all joy? Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. When your faith is tried, you have patience. But let patience have a perfect work. That you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If you have passed through the fire, if you have been refined by the trials of this life, your life will change. If you doubt it, look at those who go to prisons, like Okere prison. 
We have some pastors there. Some were never pastors before they went there. But when they got there, they look at life and they advise themselves. Why not I change my ways? Why can't I just change my ways and fight this battle in the world instead of becoming a part of the trouble in the world? Why not I move against the storm, against the current, and fight for Christ? And when they come out, you that has been praying that your child should not go to Okere, you will even be, in, be jealous in that one. You will envy that one. See, see this is Tapiki where go Okere prison. No, he don't come now. He can't find finish. See the way even they do it, follow him, they do cassava, you know the shame again. You know they cause trouble again. When this my picking, when are they pray for me, you know, John, I better come. If you not take time, you go go carry one day. Because somebody has passed through the fire and they are coming out refined. Sometimes when God wants to give you some amount of money, he will make you to pass through the school of poverty. And when you experience poverty, the day you see somebody who has not eaten from morning to evening, you will understand. The Bible says that Jesus was tried as a high priest. He knows our pains. He knows how to sympathize with us because he passed through the same level. The troubles we face in life, they come to make us, not to maim us. They come around to build us up, to make us who God wants us to be. Look at the life of Joseph. He had troubles, but the troubles were building him up. He did not tell God that God, this gift of uh, dreams you have given to me that has landed me in this uh, Egypt and is still disturbing me. God, take it away. I don't want to use this gift again. He never did that. It was the gift that put him into trouble that landed him on the throne as a prime minister. Praise the Lord. Look at your Bible, Judges chapter 14. I want to pray for everybody in this house that as many that are passing through trials, the trials will bring out something good in your life. Samson said, out of the eater came forth meat and out of the strong came forth sweetness. Out of the eater the situation that came to destroy you, the sack letter that they have given you, the quick notice you have been given, out of that situation came forth goodness. When it reminds me of David, when David was in the bush, remember, as at when they wanted to anoint a king, David was nowhere to be found. He was in the bush, the youngest child. The last card was the one in the bush. Upon how handsome he looked, he was in the bush. The elderly ones were princes at home, enjoying themselves. And when they were passing through the front of Samuel, Samuel was almost confused. He said, this one looked like the king. God should I anoint this one. He said, hey, wait, not this one. What about this Eliab? Should I not? Hey, wait, not this one. I'll be deceived by their physical look. Man, are these all your children? He said, no. David was kept in the bush. And while he was there, instead of getting discouraged with the troubles of life, he was always playing his harp. Always playing. When life is bad for you, when things are moving the opposite direction, when your fears are being given birth to a life, don't be discouraged. Don't go back for 20 naira and start playing lotto. Every corner of worry you enter, you see jobless people playing lotto. If God does not give you job, your wife's money, you search the whole house, look over the cupboard everywhere, search the whole house, when you see 15 naira of your wife, you run and go and play lotto. If God does not give you wet, is it lotto that will bless you? I asked one man, he said, many people, he was complaining, I went to Bob Marco to cut my hair. He said, hey, this game, I miss this game, oh, only one number, oh, I miss it. I looked at him. Ah, he was talking and talking, I was cemented. I asked him a very simple question. How many people have become rich with this lotto? He counted one man. <laughs> I told him, I said, look, I had one uncle 
who played pool all his life. Anytime you go there with eyeglass like this, you greet him, Aku. They was a heap of papers. His house, his parlor became a pool office. Before he will answer you, he will do all the calculations first. All the pension money entered there. And when you ask people like that, they will say, there is no money, there is no work, what do we do? God, I, I told one young man, I said, God told me that MMM will soon crash. I even posted it online. And when I sent him a message, he said, this is fallacy. If God is the one that spoke to you, what has your God provided for people to do as a job? I kept quiet. One day I was in a kake in Ogboru. There was hold up there. So I saw him. I greeted him. He was behaving as if he did see me. I said, you must see me today. I came down from my kake. I met him. I said, Hannah, brother, I shook hands with him. He was very cold because his millions sank with MMM. MMM is waking up again with all these big coins and all these things you are doing. You better repent. It's a sin. Don't play gamble. It's the same gamble they played and sold and won the garment of your master. Don't play that gamble. If God cannot bless you, it's gamble you will play. David was playing his harp in the bush. And one day, a lion came. When the lion came, David struck the lion and fought the lion and killed the lion. Another day, a bear came. These ravenous animals, a bear could stand up larger than a human being. A small boy stood and confronted a bear. Confronted the lion, took the lamb from his mouth. The things he, were, he was doing in the bush became his testimonials in the public. One day the king was looking for somebody to play. When madness came upon him, an evil spirit, they, they said, let's get a musician who could play very well. The thing he was doing at his leisure time took him to the palace. Praise the Lord. He did not allow his problems to destroy him. Like some of us, your father has all these grown-up children and they sell you to bush. All the animals, you sell them. You roast the ones you want to roast. It's business. It's opportunity. It's like you are a servant and your master is very wicked. And you are the one running his business for him. Every time he shouts, 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 shouts. Oh? Before the next three years, master will become servant. A servant will become a guy. But David comforted himself. He did not allow the troubles to destroy him. He stood as a conqueror. And the day came. In first Samuel chapter 17, 31 following, he went to drop food. And so one huge man, like the same bear and lions, people used to run away from. And he asked, who is this? They told him. He said, eh? what will be done for anyone that kills this Goliath? He said, eh? he go marry the king, Pekino. He said, eh? okay. The brother just came, met that brother. I talked to him. David, you are started to... David, I know you will not keep quiet. Who even sent you to this bush? David turned away his face and met another person. May you not be distracted in Jesus' name. In the battles of this life, you will not be distracted in the name of Jesus. And they brought David before Saul. And Saul looked at him very lovely shy. He said, look, you don't know what you are talking about. You are still a youth. You are not even experienced in battle. This man you are seeing has been fighting for decades. Oh boy, have you even considered his eyes? And David said, Upon that it looks like hatred that I was in the bush day and night looking after the small sheep of my father. I stood and I became faithful. I was faithful to the extent that even when a lion came, I stood as a conqueror and I tore the lion apart. There are some of us, when you see your husband with another wife, that day you will set the house on fire. Let the man come. You'll be boiling inside. That day no cooking, no. 
You chocolate. A woman is taking away your husband. You want to fight the husband they are dragging with you. You are pushing him away. One woman called me one day. I said, my husband that's supposed to be at home today who traveled for a very long time. Said he's taking the visitor, his visitor to the hotel. And he's telling me that, that he wants to just pass the night there. Today, there will be trouble in this house. I told him, look, there are many ways to kill a rat. Send him a text message and tell him that you and the children are missing him. That you are not a widow. That your husband is still alive. He should not make you to live like a widow while you are seeing your husband face to face. And add that you love him. She sent the message. I said, if you don't send her, call me. She called me. I said, okay. And when the man came back, the man said, you spoiled my night for me. I could not sleep because of that text message. He said, I was thinking, I thought I would enjoy the money I paid for the hotel, but I did not enjoy it. My sleep left me. It is time to confront your trouble. The man may not be the problem. It may be as a result of a sham. Say, my husband is faithful, and you are packing out. Even some men who will set strife for one month, two months, five months, six months, they will not sleep with their wives. And they will set CCTV cameras everywhere. I'll be watching the woman. The day he try, I'm, I want to away this woman out too. But the Bible says, except on the occasion of adultery. So, this woman, you will not eat at home. If you like, because of hunger, go and eat outside. I will catch you. And once I see the woman make any move, he said, trap, don't catch you. You must go. In law, in fact, I do mistake. Mama, go carry your picking. It is time we as christians become wise and confront our troubles and saul was listening and he said okay i'm listening he said it's not over there was a day a bear came to take one of the lambs just imagine honor a lamb lamb oh lamb go and take care of it you go and take your life eh if the the lion cuts off one of your hands and you go home and tell your daddy that daddy I was fighting with a lion because they wanted to pick one of the lamb from among the, the, the sheep. So I was fighting with him and he cut off my hand. What would the father say? He said, my son, David, I thought you were wise. This your hand and the lamb, which one is costly? Well, thank God, say, now your hand, they cut, no be my own. You go manage it like that. Next time, when you see lion, they catch evil cow, you go, they run for your life. But David was so faithful that he had to confront the troubles because he knew that the bush is going to, there are lions there. How many of us know that the devil is in this world? Revelation 12, 11 and 12. He says, 12 says, Woe unto you, inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil that has been causing Wahala in heaven has been driven down to you. God expects us to face our challenges. And because David presented the certificates of the troubles he faced in life, Saul said, I am convinced that you can fight this man. But on what condition? Put on the armor of this flesh. And David wore them, could not move. He said, No! When I fought the lion and the bear, I was without armor. I go to this man in the name of the Lord. The passage we read, Romans 8, Romans 8, 37, he says, Nay, in all these things, we are more than who? It did not end there. He said, Through him that loved us. That means, if you want to overcome in the battles of this world, you have to go with the conqueror. Jesus said, I have overcome the world. Be of good share. If you are not with the overcomer, you must fail. Because in life, I have seen people who read business administration, but could not do well in their own business. They are failing. But those with such certificates are excelling in their business. Those who have everything it takes, because they don't have the conqueror with them. Many of them are failing. Some fathers, some mothers, they have the money. 
But because they fail to give their children Jesus Christ, when they give the children all the education they need in life, the children will become good and become useless. May the Lord deliver us. I was in a dream one day. I had my little, little nephew of nine years old. So I wanted to enroll him for extra moral lessons. And in the dream I was saying, how many parents actually make their children uh, when they go for extra moral lessons have CROK, Bible knowledge? And I was saying, uh, he's going to take mathematics, English, and CROK. And I woke up. I said, eh, this is one secret. So to God, as you make the child to become successful academically in the race of Christianity, you have to also have to build them up. Because the first place they rob us of our faith is the school. That is the first place I was told that I am an animal. Elementary science in primary school, I was told that me, Hosanna, David, I am an animal. But a higher animal. Before I could realize that I am a human being created in the image of God, I have written how many exams. When they say, name all living things, all living animals, I will still class myself as man. Mamas, I will add myself as an animal. I won't try it again. I'm not an animal. No wonder people are behaving like animals. We are not animals. We are children of God. And today, some of these applications in your phones, you see people putting animals' snouts, eh? Animals' ears. They will put it. May God forgive you. If you are a youth, you do it. May God forgive you. But can I tell you that you are calling yourself an animal? The day an evil man calls you an afia, no quarrel. You can't carry this great image of God and begin to add the ears of animals, eyelashes of goats, add them. That is beauty. If God not create me fine rich as a day or so, now artificial be be now and one by before I go fine. God forbid. Before world go change rich like that, I go not do my own market come up from this world. Through him that loved us, what is the challenge you are facing this moment? Are you allowing your challenge to kill you? Are you allowing these troubles to destroy your life? In every trouble that comes your way, there is always goodness. Where after Samson killed a lion, he went away another time he was passing by. He said this trouble that almost tried to destroy destroy me, that I conquer. Let me go and check it. He went there and he saw carnivorous bees on the lion. He scooped some and ate them. Sweet. He gave to his parents too and they ate. And he said from something strong came something sweet. Man, no, they come. Man, no, they come. Does that one, is that one qualified for you to put yourself on a train and begin to hawk yourself? Eh? There is no job, there is no job. Does that one make you not to do anything? Or even assist your wife to sell the small market in the, uh, small in the market? There is no job, there is no job. But your wife is running small business. You can assist even at home. Oh yeah, go quick, oh, go quick, oh, you are the breadwinner. Have you woken up? You don't come from market, can't you assist with only that one? Every time, even when there is no meeting, you will always have a meeting to attend. And the woman has now become the breadwinner and the slave at the same time. May God forgive those set of men. When life is pushing against you, you have to wake up. I have not seen the devil pursuing somebody that has no future. I see mad men on the road. They can just go to the water, the dirty water and they drink. And they are happy. They pick food, sour food, and they eat. Fever will come and look at them. I am fever. Oh. I am malaria. He said, no, 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 not this one. This one does not need me. Fever will go. HIV will go to the madman. No, 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 I don't need this one. This one is already dead. Then we see gonorrhea. Gonorrhea will say, this one, your problem is more than me. I can't come and give you. In fact, you are the one to give me problem. 
Go on, here we go. Because that man, to the devil, he has no future. One day, open your windows. Still live in your house. So allow the mosquitoes. Don't use mosquito coil. Don't use go nighty. Don't use anything. Don't use nets. Do it for three weeks. The way madmen sleep on the street, just try it for in your own house or the same bed. Just try it for three weeks. This worry mosquito will carry holes for mouths. Eh? <laughs> they will finish you. Are there not madmen on the street before they now go and tear our nets in the window? Mosquito will tear the net and make sure they. In fact, sometimes I've noticed some. They wait for me when I want to open my door. And once I open, I will be eating them. <laughs> but there are things they are supposed to suck their blood. If the devil is pursuing you, it means you have a destination. If things are not moving well, no ask yourself, say, now let me do this work. Now let me, why my life can't be like this? If I touch business, you know they work. If I do this, you know they work. It's because the devil knows that the ball that will score the goal for the whole world to rejoice is in your courts. And he wants to fight you to make sure he takes it away from you. Let's be on our feet. We want to pray. Any situation you find yourself, good must come out of it. If you see yourself in the situation of poverty, I say good must come out of it. If it is sickness, I say good must come out of it. Say, oh Lord, my Father, you have declared that I am a conqueror. I will not be a loser. I declare today that I am a winner. No devil, no demon will destroy my life. I must fulfill my destiny. Say amen. Let me tell you something. I have not said this publicly like this any day. My mother told me that before I could survive to this time, I have faced a lot of challenges. That when she got pregnant of me, the pregnancy started giving her troubles. And people said I was no more. They should go and wash me away. But before they saw it, I started growing. And even before I was born, she got a prophecy which she herself confirmed in her dream that the other two were given birth to the hospital. They told her not to go to the hospital to give birth to me, that I would die. So the day she was, she was gripped with birth pain, she had to go to the church and give birth to me in the church. And while I was this small, when I learned how to walk, one day I fell into a well. All this well, they put woods on the ground. Eh? I was moving, according to her, I was moving, I was at her back before she knew it, I was already in the way. And because I was not fat, just still like this. The grasses around the well held me. She stretched her hand, bent down, and picked me up. While I was still a baby, sucking breasts, I had fire accident. If you look closely, you will see my face. I had burnt marks. Until today, I'm still fighting. If the devil could not destroy me, he will not destroy you. Oh Lord, our Father, may troubles that these children of yours are facing take them to their next level. If the troubles of Job promoted him to the extent that there was none like him all over the east, even his daughters became the most beautiful in the whole land. May troubles promote you also. Any power that will stop you from taking possession of the month of June 2018, 
May you attend the funeral service of that power. Receive the keys to our praise. In the year 2018, in the month June 2018, whatsoever thing you lock will remain locked. Any door you open will remain open. It is well with your life. In Jesus' name we pray. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com Email us at hosannadavid at ymail.com or info at egoeyeopener.com God bless you.